You've been waiting on this one for a long time. A long time. And if you blinked, you have already missed it. Let's go. Alright, family, so if you were paying attention to my wrist, then you know if I switch watches. You don't believe me? You believe me now? Question, real quick. Which one's Apple Watch and which one's the Raytech 6? Can you guess? Do you know? Do you know? Do you know? One of these is not like the other. I'll give you another second. Which hand? Right hand? Left hand. If you guessed the right hand, then you are absolutely correct. This is the Raytech Watch 6. And then my left hand is the Apple Watch. They look very similar in design and form factor. In fact, if you look at the bands, the bands are similar design. But the Apple Watch has noticeably more heft than the Raytech Watch 6. Now, the reason why I grabbed the Apple Watch is because the Raytech Watch 6 is basically like the Apple Watch for Android. And I didn't know anything about the Apple Watch. So I was like, well, if I'm going to do testing, I need to make it as accurate as possible. So we picked up an Apple Watch Series 2. Yes, I picked up a used Apple Watch. I wouldn't mind one new. And we played with it. We, we used it. We, you know, synced it to our phones. You know, everybody that's an Apple fanboy, Apple product user. You know about Apple's ecosystem. You know how everything just, you know, works together, syncs together, and just works flawlessly. That's the way they design their products. It's to work within its own ecosystem. So um, I did that, and it was great. Cool. So I switched over to the Raytech Watch 6, and I must say, not to be completely honest, I can't suggest this product. And there's only one glaring reason. Now, as far as the fit and finish, it's actually excellent. It's an excellent fit and finish. It feels very premium. It's Once again, it's not as hefty as the Apple Watch. But as you see, based on the back right here, it doesn't have the same amount of components. Is it because the charging dock uses these prongs right here? No. Is it because it doesn't have a dedicated power button? Like the Apple Watch. No. It's because the crown wheel doesn't work the same as Apple's crown. No. It's because it's not loud enough. No. It's all software related. The software just does not have enough customization to justify me suggesting anybody buy a product like this for over 130 bucks. Let me say it like this. People who are Android users are typically people who like to fiddle with their phones, do a lot of customization, um, like to know the ins and outs, don't mind developing apps and, and you know, doing all that stuff. Like, and, you know, the problem solving the engineering uh, world is really big on Android because we get to play around with our devices and make them do certain things. Well, just to be honest, the software does not leave much to imagination. It's very clunky at best. It does have a dedicated app, but it's not a lot there. As you can see right here on the screen, it's, it's not a lot going for it. You really can't do anything, uh, whether you use an iPhone or an Android device like my OnePlus 7 Pro. It's, I, I, I feel like it's beyond lackluster, and that's what's keeping this device from being as great as it should be. Now... If they had an update where it's more customizable, where you can get the sync the way you want to, you have more options. Um, for example, when I have the phone off my wrist, unlike the Apple Watch, it does not automatically stop sending notifications here. With the Apple Watch, you do not get notifications once you take it off your wrist. Now, I didn't even set that up. That was just standard. Now, maybe it was some, you know, maybe that was a problem before. An initial Apple Watch, you know, the Apple Watch Series 1, maybe the Apple Watch Series 2 with certain um, software updates. But mine has the most current update, and I don't have those issues. 
I noticed the first week I had this device, I would take it off my wrist. It'd be late at night. I have my phone on silent. It's connected to the Red Tech Watch 6. And I'm getting notifications, and it's loud. This thing does get mad loud. I give it that. These speakers are phenomenal. But I was like, I am, man. Come on, now. It's, it's bedtime. How does this how does this go off? If you look at the app, there's no clear-cut way on how to set that up. And if you're on the device, it's clunky. And that's that's the biggest problem I have with this. It's clunky. Phone calls, great. I made phone calls on this. I could hear people uh, clear. They can hear me clear, no issues. Um, text messaging, not bad. Uh, other features, you know, you don't have the, the video features, the video call functions on this, but most of the, the standard features work very well, but outside of that, that lack of customization is a fatal flaw in this device, especially if you're gonna pair with Android because Apple already has their uh, watch series that works flawlessly with their product. Uh, even when I connected this to the iPhone, it just, it just didn't, the, the pairing just didn't work that well. Now, now, if they were to willing to push an update that allows more customization where you can sync it better with your phone and have more access to certain things on the app where you can change how it functions and make it function more like an iPhone, you know, just in case you want to get the Apple fanboys off your back, I would most definitely be recommending this. But until it gets that update or the software sees a major change, it's a hard pass for me. Make sure you guys hit the like button, share this video, hit the subscribe button, and hit the notification bell because I look forward to getting more black owned wearable tech. I believe Inspire is coming out with another uh, smartwatch for their device. I then wasn't able to get the first one. In fact, if you do have the first generation smartwatch from Inspire, which is a Tessix wireless company, hit me up in the DMs. We'll see about getting it off you because I want to be able to compare the two. Um, also, when the second one come out, I'm already on it. I've, I've stayed in contact with Inspire, so I can get my hands on one, and we can do a review on that. Until next time, peace, and I'll say.